How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's the 9th of December, that means that Series 2 has started today for Forza Horizon 5, which includes the Christmas and holiday makeover on the map. As of today, if you go on Forza Horizon 5, the map has now been updated to have lots of Christmas and holiday related decorations and activities to do around the Mexico map. It's very cool to see in today's video I'm going to show you where all of these new decorations are, where you can find the coolest things, a showcase of the new decorations and I'm also going to show you how to get all of the accolades as well. Because while we have this map makeover we were also given a bunch more new accolades that we can earn during this limited time so get them done while you can. Let's have a look at what's been done to the map. The first point of interest is the stadium. If you head over to the stadium, you'll see that it's no longer just an empty field of grass. It is now an ice rink. Technically a functional one as well. Whatever car you take there, you're gonna struggle to get grip. It's incredibly slippery and very annoying. The whole thing is ice and in the middle you actually have an arena with two goals either side. That's going to make some very, very cool mini games, which I'm sure some people are going to make. And round the outside of this mini arena, you'll see a bunch of Christmas trees, presents and candy canes scattered about, which you can hit and just skate about on. They've given the stadium a huge makeover. It's really cool to see. This is exactly what we expected, but there's a lot more to the map. Let's see what else they've done. The city has also had a makeover as well. If you head over to the city, you'll see that it is scattered with Christmas lights, you know, sort of going from building to building. It's scattered with Christmas trees, presents, candy canes scattered all over the place. This will be especially cool to drive around in at night with the Christmas lights everywhere. Just one of the many locations which has been given a makeover with the Christmas decorations. Now one of the coolest ones is the little village called Muleg. I don't actually know how to pronounce it to be honest. It's here on the map and this has also been given a makeover as well with a bit of a twist. As you drive down here you'll see Christmas trees everywhere, you'll see the candy canes, the gifts, just all sorts of the general stuff. But this is where your gift drops can now arrive as well. As you can see as I approached this sort of circle area in the middle of the town there was a gift that I could drive into and I was given a car by another member of the community. If you gift drop someone in a vehicle, this is where it can potentially end up. So definitely make your way over to this town just to see if there's any gifts or any free cars for you. And just behind the gift as well, there is the Forzalon shop or the Winterland Forzalon shop as they're calling it. So if you want to access the Forzalon shop from there, you can, but that is just yet again, one of the other places full of Christmas decorations, but there's more. The town over on the right hand side of the map near the Horizon Apex Festival. This has got all of the Christmas lights from building to building as you can see and also down the middle it's full of presents and trees on either side and this is a cool little patio area in the middle where there's a big tree and just a bunch of decorations everywhere really. What do you expect? Pretty much every town and city within the Forza Horizon 5 Mexico map has been completely decorated with all the Christmas related things. Along with that, all of the festivals have been given a slight makeover as well. Just very quickly in a gloss over these. As you can see in all of the festivals, the Apex, the Baja, all of them just have a few extra Christmas trees lying around. Nothing too serious, but they've all just been sort of Christmasized. It's the little details, but as I said, there are also more accolades added as well. If you go to your accolades section, you'll see that there is now the Evolving Worlds section, where you have a bunch of accolades that not all of them you can complete now, but quite a few of them you can complete now. Let's just quickly go through them. I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest methods of unlocking all of these accolades as quick as possible. This accolade right here is very simple. You can probably figure this one out yourself. You just have to go to the ice rink, which is in the stadium. So if you want to do this accolade, just make your way to the stadium, go in the middle, and as you see on screen, it will just unlock just like that. Now this one here is the Forzadon shop that I mentioned earlier. It's down at the town called Muleg. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that, but make your way here, get a gift if there's one there, and go into the Forzadon shop, and that will unlock this accolade here. Very quick and easy to do. The next Next one involves going to the city, Guanajuato, and you have to find the giant Christmas tree. It's very easy to find. It's, it's around in the middle of the city area. You can see it on screen right now. It's a very big Christmas tree, just like noted. All you have to do is approach it and it will prompt the accolade to unlock. You can probably see on the map roughly where it is. It's sort of bang in the center of the city. Now there are two other accolades which are very simple to do. Get five drift skills within one minute in the ice rink and get five air skills within one minute in the ice rink. Now I'd highly recommend being in an all wheel drive car to complete these. It's just a bit easier to control the car 
on the ice if you're in an all-wheel drive car so jump into an all-wheel drive car with plenty of power and just drift on the ice rink it will unlock almost instantly and then for the air one just go up the jumps a few times you'll unlock that one as well it's very self-explanatory now there are a couple more accolades possible smash 25 candy canes and then smash 25 christmas trees now the easiest way to find christmas trees and candy canes is once again in the ice rink in the stadium you'll get about eight christmas trees spawning at a time and over 40 um, candy canes so there'll be plenty of candy canes there however with the Christmas trees you'll need to find more than just what's in the stadium get all of the ones that are in the stadium and then you can go to the horizon festivals because quite often there are Christmas trees scattered around there or alternatively you can go over to the right hand side of the map into the town there's quite a few Christmas trees around there as well or if you're really lazy like me and you want to stay at the ice rink you can just prompt the Christmas trees within the ice rink to respawn and the way you do that is go to the race which is right outside of the stadium go to play it go to create routes go to create a route and as soon as you're there just quit it just back out of it there'll be barely any loading screens you'll spawn right next to the stadium and that will prompt all of the christmas trees to spawn again so you can get the rest that you need for 25 christmas trees for the accolade now there is an accolade to smash 25 snowmen, 25 Christmas trees and 25 candy canes in a Mazda. So while you're doing the Christmas trees and the candy canes, I highly suggest doing it in a Mazda because you will unlock both of them at the same time, if that makes sense. You do need to get 25 snowmen as well, which unfortunately I don't think we can get snowmen yet. I'm going to hazard a guess that the snowmen are going to spawn on the map when it when it turns to winter, when it turns to the snowy season on the uh, on the mountain, on the volcano. There's another accolade which requires you to get 5,000 skill score in a peel in the ice rink. As you know, there is now the secret Santa challenge where we have to, as a community, work together to gift as many cars as possible. And when we get this to 100%, the reward is an exclusive secret car. And that car just happens to be the PLP 50, by the way. That's confirmed now. So while we can't do this accolade just yet, once we've all worked together to gift as many cars as possible, we will unlock the peel and we can do that accolade. Now there are a few other accolades such as visiting the New Year lanterns and driving some of the new Toyota trucks which we have yet to receive. Now these accolades we obviously can't complete yet because one, it's not New Year's yet so we don't have the New Year's decorations, two, we don't have the Toyota cars and three, the remaining accolades are to basically collect all of the new cars for each series. So there's one accolade for collecting all of the cars in series two which we obviously can't do yet and all of the guys in series three which we obviously can't do yet that is pretty much everything you need to know about series two christmas map makeover for Forza 2005 go and do the accolades while you can go and explore the map see if there's anything see if there's any easter eggs about it's christmas related be surprised if there isn't leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon 5 content i'll see you all later